Greetings! It is once more time to draw with me, Lynn Perry, and I thought today I would do something that I kind of been avoiding for a while, and it's just because I've done it so much. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a beautiful woman. Simple as that. I'm not going to go over the top. I'm just going to draw. Uh, so let's uh, let's start out with uh, Mr. Non Photo Blue. Because Mr. Non Photo Blue is really good at that sort of thing, you know, figuring out where where elements are going to go. I'm not trying to do any specific character design, just I'm just drawing to that. So one of the reasons why I, I tried to avoid you know <laughs> avoid drawing pretty girls is because I, I did enough of them where I had a book. <laughs> It's true. Uh, the book is called Elegance. I'm I'm proud of it. it. It's it's a nice book of drawings. It has a nice variety of uh, characters and designs in it, and it's you know it, it's it was a pleasure to make, and uh, I, I felt like it was a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, it's one of those things, things that kind of happen by accident, but sometimes good things happen by accident. Um, and really, all you got to do is watch the very first video in this series, and you can see good things happen by accident. <laughs> so. Just drawing in where everything goes. In the most basic sense. Sometimes you just have to let yourself draw. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm just letting myself draw. And part of my reasoning for that was you know, it was late, you know, I had that bit of a slowdown. And there were no, there were a variety of reasons, and I'm not going to worry about those. But I, I didn't like that I'd slowed down. Who would? So one of the things I'm doing to combat that is let's try to take it easy. Actually, I'm not done with that yet. Playing around with design as much as anything else at the moment. Yeah, that looks good. 
And I've gotten comments before that this is a stage that's not the most visible on the camera, but sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. And it, it kind of helps me set up everything for, for what I'm doing, and sometimes, sometimes it's visible. So that's why I'm including it. Now, I saw a great video uh, some time back. If I can find it, I'll link it. I'm probably not going to find it. <laughs> uh, where the artist in the video said, try to make a single smooth line. As opposed to doing this, you do this. And that makes everything look better. Um, sometimes I'll do a little bit sketch stuff, kind of like this. But you notice that it's lighter. But now, I'll do that. I'll do the more bold version. And where do I want to go here? Go ahead and go play. I know you're disappointed. I could have gone nude. And didn't. Uh, I, I don't want to see myself. I don't see my. I don't see myself at all. Anyway. Cheesecake kind of artist when it comes to my drawing. I mean, I did call my book of drawings pretty good as elegance. And and that's that's part of my aesthetic in that. It's also part of the aesthetic that I go with with the women female characters in my writing. Uh, more often than not. Uh, my uh, uh, dark fantasy that I've toyed with uh, in, in working on Nightlands and the the characters I keep coming back to are priestesses of this religion, and they're very elegant for their setting. And their setting is very brutal, but they are the more elegant parts of that brutal world. See right there, I had that kind of sketched out line, and then I did the, the firmer version over it. Um, we might do that in a bit. Now, one thing about my drawings is as you've noticed here I don't do a lot of work with color and for those of you who have seen a lot of my videos you know that sometimes my color work is not the best sometimes my color work is amazing and more often than not my best work uses that. 
So what what do you what do you do? What what what's the solution? And for me, the solution has been use more pencil. Let's get them back in there. I can't just use my own hands for this. Sometimes I, I sometimes I will with my drawing, but I can't because there's actually there are actually slight differences in male hands and female hands. They they are subtle and it's it's not the presence or absence of fingernails. That that is not the difference. Uh, some artists will will actually be able to illustrate illustrate it verbally or with picture better than I can. Uh, so I will leave it to stronger sources than myself. But my argument is simply this, and it's from an anatomical mindset. Sell female and drawing models. I have one. I don't have a male one because, hi, <laughs> but uh, I do have a female hand drawing model. I haven't used it in a while, but I do have one should I need it. It's, a, it's an interesting tool to have. All right, so let's see. Slight sharpen there, just to give it a little more of an edge. Yeah, I'm using the reference. But it's a generalized. I'm using it as a, this reference as a generalized guide more than anything else. And that's about half true. <laughs>
Now I could go into a uh, discussion of why I grow all pretty girls and such. The short answer is, you know, you get lonely. And when you get lonely, you're going to draw some friends. Right? Right. Okay. I, I draw a lot of things. This is where I'm deviating. Haven't decided yet. The nice thing about using a reference sometimes is it won't flow well in your head. I'm not the best at it. Sometimes I, I'll do it and I can do it okay. But I know I have my flaws. I do them best. The secret to getting around your flaws is you incorporate them when you deal with them. When you deal with them, not dodge them. So dodge them or incorporate them. That, that's the solution. Um, you know, the, the solution can be you put buildings and floors and such in the way of not showing you can't draw feet. Or you do other things. To showcase that you, you draw, you, you focus heavily on the things you do get right. Maybe you draw guns well. You speak to, your art should speak to what you are capable of. Hmm. That both does and does not look like my reference, which I like. My, my, my effort was trying to get away from my reference and ended up making more like it. <laughs> Uh, this is an area where I'm deviating a lot of reference. Um, yeah, 
custom patch. So my thought was, I'm going to create more of a border to this top, and part of how I'll do that is to okay. Part of what I'm doing here is. I'm trying to convey a semi-vinyl look. I do really like that about the reference that I, I'm using. Now, if I was going to use ink on this, that I, I would use the ink for that. In this case, I don't want to use ink. So that's where repetition comes in handy. It's not going to necessarily come out for the vinyl look, but it's it's going to come close. I'm going to do a spot here. I'm going to do a spot here. Do a spot through here, which I'll let have a little size. And then I'm going to do one kind of curved spot here. Okay, why many? Why so many spots? Especially since I can barely see them in the video. We'll see. So I'm doing one pass just to get a little shading and color here. And now I'm going to cross it to create a darker shade. I'm going to go for the spots. And I'm now going to go over but again. But I'm going to mostly avoid those spots. So you, you see a little definition here, 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 and here uh, that's based on lighting and it's based on how closely the, the garment is to the flesh. Right. Trying to get something off my screen, so sorry about that. Mm 
using a, a little bit different pattern to shade these areas. I mean, use a different pattern to demonstrate that it's made of the material, different material. Shading there. So far, so good. To heal or not to heal, that is the question. Tilt for just a moment. Sometimes you gotta get a better angle. This is one of those times. So the question I asked a moment ago was to heal or not to heal, and, and that's not H-E-A-L, that's H-E-E-L. <laughs> similar situation here. I, I have a friend who, who just despises um, unnecessary heels on women. It's like, I can't stay in pumps always being on these women in these pictures. It's a fair point. But this is a case where I think it just turned out better with it. I need to fix that angle. Let's get rid of those excessive lines there. Let's 
simple, smooth, to the point. It's all the one. Simple, smooth, to the point. Um, another way that one can establish that a different material is being used is to use a different pencil. Next case that I'm going to use here. I'm going to use a different pencil. This one is 6H. If I grab a 6H or 6B, the whole point is just to use a different implement here. So, just pick a spot, start it. Here's a spot. Okay. I'm going curve for a couple of reasons. Reason one is to, to show off the physicality. Reason two. Reason two to show off the angle of uh, the pattern. And sure, I could just do crisscross to demonstrate, oh hey look, yeah, this is kind of lacy. I'm not doing that. Also, it's a, that would be lazy. Second part. I'll just do the same thing at a mostly opposite angle. Proportionally opposite. We'll need to do it over here as well. Now we want this to look like it has more definition, so I'm going to go to the top of every diamond and put in a little curve. This is where this kind of thing gets electric. And just requires patience. It's a realm that the digital has over I'm going to just kind of draw in a loose kind of dot in the center of each one. Okay. And now, just to complete the effect, a little lightly. Just. All right. Same thing over here. Slight curves. Upward curves, and the one dot I need. Let's go over here. Since I did add the heels, I'm going to also add in the stockings from the reference picture. Very similar to what I did on the top. Just need to go over here and do the same thing.
sometimes there are things we see and we feel like we just have to try. I felt that way about a friend, an online friend's cat once. I was a dog person. I felt like I had to draw her cat. Um, I drew a goat once. So a goat is a fine drawing. Um, I, I, I've drawn a lot of things. I mean, what artist hasn't? But the trick is to keep drawing. Even if things aren't quite what you're after, you keep drawing. I'm going to curve again for multiple reasons. To illustrate the curvature of the leg and the muscles. But also to illustrate the curve in the designs. Upward and over one. Almost there, and we did a side uh, on everyone. It was an odd choice, I know, but that's all right. It it gives off a little bit that kind of lacy look that a lot of a lot of lingerie has, and this is lingerie. I mean, it might be a little fishy with like with the um, vinyl bits, but it's it's still the same principle. It's designed to be pretty and to turn, you know, everyone on. There's no sense lying about it. There's no sense being evasive about it. This is the thing. Discussion argument about if something is simple or not. It's just the nature of what these things are. Okay. And I'm going to dust over it really quick. It doesn't have to be anything really impressive. It's just enough to imply the finer parts of the material that I can't really draw. So we use that. We're going to go back to this for a few little bits to finish up the illustration. More of a line there. I'm going to put in some shading here. 
let's put in a little shading here. Let that line up. Okay, a little. Okay. Um, over our eyebrows a little more because I like them to pop a little more. Um, under the nose, just a little bit to make it pop out more. What do we think, everybody? How does it look? How does she look? I think she looks pretty good. Um, let's clean up under that arm. Okay. Let's do a little under here. I'm satisfied. How about you? Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like and share. Um, subscribe if you're enjoying the Time to Draw videos. I enjoy them. I hope you're enjoying them as well. Until next time, this is Len Berry. This has been Time to Draw. Have a wonderful day and enjoy whatever art you're working on now.